If we are new to this channel, we welcome you. I'm Dr. Grace and Dr. Hope is with me here. Hello and welcome. Yes. So today we will be talking about PCOS. You might be wondering what is PCOS or you might have been diagnosed with PCOS and you want to know more about it. Or you have a friend or someone in your family that you think might have this PCOS and you want to learn more so you can help others, okay? So that is why today we're going to talk about this uh, problem and how we can help to stay healthy. So what is PCOS? PCOS for short, it's actually uh, it's polycystic ovarian syndrome and it's PCOS for short. And what does it mean? It is actually a, one of the hormone problems that can happen to women. And what it does is that it can make uh, a woman to have delayed fertility or delayed pro uh, pregnancy. Do you know that PCOS is actually very common? So you might have seen it in someone. You might have known about it. According to the study, it says 3 million cases are identified in the, in the United States alone per year. It has been shown that uh, environmental factor or genetic factor can contribute to this the, uh, medical condition. Yeah. So uh, I'll hand over to Dr. Hope to tell us more about it. She has a lot to tell you. So I want you to take your mm -hmm. cup of tea, sip it, and let's get started. That's All right. Dr. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Grace. So polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS has several symptoms. So one of the uh, most common symptoms is just that uh, a person may find that they have an irregular period. So the meaning instead of getting their period every month, they may get it every other month or every three months or may miss their period for a, a certain um, period of time or even longer period of time. So missed periods or irregular periods uh, can be one of the major symptoms of PCOS. In addition, um, patients with PCOS, women um, with PCOS, because it's only seen in women, are overweight. They can be overweight most commonly. Um, they are overweight. And then uh, they can also have uh, signs of um, increased um, male hormone or increased androgens um, that can lead to hair growth in the upper lip, chin, um, and just a male pattern, more of a male pattern. So um, sometimes, you know, if a woman finds that she has upper lip hair and she may have to pluck the hair or um, wax, you know, in those areas, uh, that may be a sign of PCOS. Um, also acne, um, patients with PCOS or people with PCOS have more acne. And um, they may also have uh, sleep apnea. So sleep apnea is, uh, is a disorder that is associated with um, being overweight and having difficulty sleeping uh, throughout the night um, due to uh, difficulty with breathing and snoring. Uh, so sleep apnea, increase uh, hair growth, in uh, a male pattern, um, even loss of hair in a male pattern as well on, on the head can be a sign of polycystic ovarian disease uh, and irregular periods um, and weight gain. Uh, so those are all common sign symptoms of polycystic ovarian disease. So how is it diagnosed? Uh, so uh, polycystic ovarian disease uh, should be diagnosed um, uh, by your doctor, but uh, by a combination of things. One is uh, the symptoms. So if the doctor finds that you have any one of the symptoms that I mentioned, um, that may qualify you to meet the diagnostic criteria for polycystic ovarian disease. But in addition to those symptoms, there may be other criteria that can uh, lead to the diagnosis. And that includes blood tests, um, which uh, include an increased androgen level and also um, an uh, ultrasound of the ovaries, which shows cysts in the ovaries. So those can be used in the criteria of PCOS, but um, the most common is really the clinical symptoms and the presentation. How is polycystic ovarian disease treated? So it's treated um, in several ways. Um, the most, the first 
treatment, the first line of treatment is really lifestyle changes. So losing weight. If some, if a patient or person with polycystic ovarian disease uh, is overweight, just losing at least 10% of their body weight um, can decrease the risk of PCOS and um, even help uh, treat it. So weight loss, uh, losing at least 10% of their body weight. So with diet and exercise. Um, uh, the next line of treatment, if a person desires pregnancy, um, there's uh, increased their hormones that can be used to help uh, help you become pregnant, and that includes Clomid and Letrozole. Those are the two of the most common medications used to help a woman uh, become pregnant who has PCOS. If a person does not desire pregnancy at that time, then just giving uh, oral contraceptives or birth control pills to help regulate the periods can help. Patients with uh, polycystic ovarian disease are also uh, uh, can be insulin resistant or pre-diabetic, um, and they are at increased risk of becoming diabetic. So uh, especially in a woman who is pre-diabetic or has a high insulin levels, metformin can be used to to treat that patient as well. So metformin is a diabetes medication, but it can also be used in um, pre-diabetes uh, and especially with someone who has a high um, insulin level. Um, all right, so I think uh, we'll go over to you now, Grace, uh, and we'll discuss the prevention and some of the take-home points. Yes, thank you very much, Dr. Hope. That was very awesome. In terms of prevention, from what we know, if you lose weight, if you can adjust what your lifestyle, avoid smoking and make sure you maintain a healthy weight, you have tendency to prevent the PCOS itself. So other thing you can do uh, would be to avoid all those social habits or anything that can make you gain weight. And so mm -hmm. take on point for today is PCOS, you can easily identify it. You can easily identify it based on the symptoms you are having and the signs you are producing. Secondly, it is treatable. Identify it early, seek your doctor's advice. Remember, we are here only for educational purpose. We cannot tell you you do have PCOS, but you have to go see your doctor. They will check you out and identify and do some blood work if needed. And then if you are diagnosed of the PCOS, it is treatable. There are medications for it and you can get your lifestyle and your baby or pregnancy back. And uh, the last thing is uh, make sure you share this ch channel to your friends, <laughs> to your colleagues, to people around you. This is an educational channel. You need it. We all need it. Yeah. And please remember to like us and subscribe Yes. to Ask mm -hmm. Endocrinologists. We really appreciate that. Thank so you. this will help us more to be able to produce more of the videos and also guide us to what you actually would want to hear. And we are here to just make more videos for you as you wish. Remember, the more you know, the better, better you are. You are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>